Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Let's continue, and let's hopefully not get horribly murdered by Nemesis this time. Uh, no, no guarantees, but we're certainly going to give it a go. Uh, we need to avoid him like the plague when he bursts on through here, don't we? Uh, which is the problem that we had the first time. Uh, now... I've been uh, reading up about how to get a, a rank in this game, or how to get the ranks in this game. And they do seem a little bit more complicated. Uh, oh god, okay, he just ran straight at me that time. Uh, that sucked. Yeah, we're dead. Um, there we go. Uh, he... Uh... Did I save this before I started this video? Ah, uh, not sure if I did. Well, kind of. Okay, um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, he doesn't always charge at you like that. Um, I generally try to make a save before the start of each video. That was kind of unfortunate because obviously he knocked us straight to the floor um, which we were right next to his legs so we didn't actually have time to spam the buttons to stand back up yeah nemesis is cheap like that and uh, it doesn't doesn't get much much better unfortunately I mean it does but not just yet so anyway, let's let's try that again, shall we? With this time with a little bit more failure. Oh, uh, we didn't get the headshot that time. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, like I was on full health, and then Nemesis was running behind me, and he just literally donkey punched me in the back of the head. Uh, he just chased after me, and then <laughs> I was running down a little uh, alleyway, and there was there was like nowhere to dodge him. So, he is a cheap bastard, uh, unfortunately. But that's fine. That's okay. I mean, the game gives us everything we need to defeat him. Right. Let's see if he's going to charge straight at us this time, shall we? So, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of looking up to try and find out how to... Right, see, that time, he's not running straight at us. Which is obviously not fine. But he's thrown us behind him. See, there we go. If we start that getting up animation, uh, if we're like halfway through that getting up animation, he won't be able to pick us up. So we just got really unfortunately lucky. Um, yeah. And what's interesting, apparently this game starts you with 300 points when you, when you first start. And your point total will diminish for everything you do using large special weapons for instance using f8 sprays diminishes your health um and so does hey nemi stars. stars in this game even using herbs standard herbs uh diminishes your rank it's pretty savage in this game actually to try and get yourself a decent uh, rank. Anyway, we're finally here at City Hall. Let's go. There we go. Didn't really want to get punched in the back of the head if we can help it. Ah. Oh. Oh. At least we're safe from Nemesis. <laughs> no, we're never safe from Nemesis, not really. Um so, we have every I think So, photo C, reporter's notebook. Alright, cool. I think we're up to date. I suppose we could go to the trolley, couldn't we? Let's go to the trolley. We're not going to go to City Hall just yet. I think Nemesis can spawn here. He hasn't. But I'm pretty sure that's one of his spawn areas. Oh, hey friend. Oh, now this is very tragic, isn't it? Let me put you down. There you go. There you go. You feel a little bit better for that, don't you? 
Um, right. Yeah, Nemesis really does add quite an interesting dynamic to this game. We do have to be very careful. Luckily, we do have a nice amount of bullets. Oh, God, that was bad. Oof. Yeah, that could have been... Could have been bad, for sure. We're not getting many headshots here, are we? Unfortunately. Now, as much as I enjoyed Resident Evil Code Veronica, it, again, doesn't have that sense. Oh, you, I didn't even see him. The screen's too dark. Didn't even see him. Pretty sure this door comes off this car at some point. Um, yeah, Nemesis doesn't have, uh, Code Veronica doesn't have that really satisfying head pop. It kind of has... A, a basic head popping sort of animation but the head doesn't disappear whereas this oh man this just has that super satisfying explodey head right well let's gather up some green herbs so this is why uh, I haven't really got a good rank in this game for a long time I guess because we're using herbs to heal ourselves and I guess we have to use two herbs to heal ourselves. Apparently if you use mixed herbs, from what I can understand, you actually get penalised more. But we give no shits for the rank. We literally give no shits for the rank. Maybe one day I shall practice these games loads and we will go and try and get a good rank. Ooh, some shotgun shells. 14 shotgun shells. Not bad. Actually, very nice. But today is not that day. I would have to be very, very, very familiar with these games before I... Well, with this game anyway. Before I tried that. We've got some zombie action. Yeah, we do. Eh, we got a little explodey barrel there, but I guess we can use it. Probably could have saved that for Nemesis a little bit later on, but hey, it's fine. Waste it on zombies instead. Alright, let's go meet the mercs. Oh, we actually do have the cord for that. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. 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 You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Nah. He's just bleeding out for the fun of it. Uh, right, so... Is that the mechanic thing? Yeah, mechanics memo. That's actually the next one we need. Um, I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You'll see these carriages were made in uh, 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get, uh, they get rickety, but they still work because they're simple, stubborn and strong. We can always depend on them. If they, ha uh, if they have a bad day, and are malfunctioning, you will need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you... Uh, just remember... If... If you don't remember to check them out, just remember that if you need to replace anything, you'll have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always be prepared. You must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. No, a machine will just break down when you absolutely need it. Oh, this looks bad. 
Yeah. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Ah, ah. Fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is, he? is gonna be okay. Is he really safe? Are you sure about that, Joe? So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Cheers, boss. Nice little side pack. Excellent. Alright. So, will we take the wrench? Yes, we will. Absolutely going to take a wrench. I don't think there's anything else up here. A well-maintained control room. You've opened the lock. Let's go through the lock. Uh, ah, I see. This just, like, loops us straight round. Alright, that's fair. Cool. So, we've got the wrench. Let's go have a little... Ah, you know what that wrench allows us to do. That wrench allows us to go take the um, bolts off the fire hose. Now I just have to remember where that was. God damn it. Now hopefully Nemesis isn't going to spring up anytime soon. But let's be fair. I've actually forgotten like most of his trigger points in this game. I've, I've, I've actually forgotten a hell of a lot about this game. Yeah, there we go. Now, does he actually have anything in his car? He does. Gunpowder B. I mean, okay then. Cheers, pal. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Not sure if this guy's dead. He is dead. There's a pool of blood down by him. All right. Let's be careful. And if we hear the music, we know it's about to get ugly. So there's the gas station. Uh, I guess we could go to the gas station. Apparently, that one's locked. Alright, let's go to the gas station. I've got a horrible feeling though. That we might be doing... Yeah, this is difficult to try and remember the sequence. Oh, I'm pretty sure Nemesis turns up here. Ah, oh, look at how good this scene, is, this scene looks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nemesis turns up here. We can blow him up. Nice little DeLorean there. Obviously, uh... Oh, no, hang on. We need the crank for this, don't we? A hex-shaped hole. Yeah, we need the crank. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go back to a save room. There's some poor planning for you. But that's okay, because we need to jiggle all this stuff around anyway. So, okay. 
So we need the crank to open the shutter. That's fine. Managers reporting the business facts are the next two that we need, apparently. Actually, I, I get a feeling that Nemesis won't bother us for a while. Save room straight ahead. Well, that little area there, too, that we haven't looked at. I guess we can have a look at that as well. Oh, hey, zombies. Now, those guys, I kind of forgot about. Well, let's not waste all of our handgun ammo. And let's be fair, there is never going to be a time where that is not fun. What would be nice... Yes, is a headshot from the handgun. That's always satisfying. There we go. Jill makes the men go down. Uh... Now, let's not think about that too much. Some more herbs here as well. This game's at... Oh, God. This game's actually, from what I can remember, pretty generous with the health. But, yeah. Uh, you do pay for picking it up, as we can see. And um, Well, not picking it up, but you pay for actually using the health items. I guess, if you actually care about ranks and things like that. Which, to be honest, like I really don't, unless achievements are involved. Um, we really need that save room, don't we? A bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. There is a switch. Will you push it? Go on, then. It's holding something in its hand. Yep, something that we can't carry. So, I guess we're going to come back for that. Right, let's go drop a load of junk off at our save room. And we also need to start thinking... About another game to play because we finished uh, Onomusha yesterday which you know was a good time but it was unfortunate because I was really enjoying that game Nemesis yep there we go we just heard him open the door he's back out baby which means we're potentially going to be having a bad time. Uh, right, let's go jiggle some bits and pieces around. Let's top up our shotgun. And put you back. Oh, nice. So what? Quite a few shotgun shells there, actually. Right, let's drop the gunpowder. We could actually make a lot of uh, shotgun shells if that's what we want to do with that gunpowder, which of course that is not what we want to do with that gunpowder at all. Uh, that's a little bit better. I really do wish that we could take the bullets out of that handgun, but never mind. So we have we have the power cable. Uh, we do need the rust hex crank. Yeah. Yeah, we could use that. Do we need the lockpick for where we're going? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think we need... We don't need that at the gas station. I'm pretty sure we don't anyway. Right, let's go. As we're at a save location, we will drop a save. Okay, let's go. I guess Nemesis is going to be out here now. Skulking around. Uh, no. I guess he isn't. Why do we not have a gun selected, Jill? Okay. I was going to say, why are you not using your gun, Jill? I guess she just didn't feel like using her gun today. Oh, really? Dude, stop being greedy. Oh, you dick penis. Seriously? What a nutsack. Right, well, we've used a hell of a lot of bullets there. You know, you always think you've got a lot of bullets in this game, but it's crazy how quickly you can whittle them down. Let's go up and around here. I'm curious about this little closed off area. 
You wait. Dick Cheese himself is going to charge out at any minute. It's locked from the other side. Right, yeah, of course it is. How could I forget? Interesting. We haven't bumped into Mr. Nemesis yet. Maybe he didn't come through that door. Which begs the question. Who did? Well, I guess maybe it's those zombies, but I'm not sure about that. All right. Like I say, for whatever reason that we, we do miss Jill's diary, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just... Oh. Ah, hang on. Don't we need something to replace that with? Well, I mean... We've got zombies. I guess. So... We can't really replace that book with zombies, can we? But we can fill the zombies with lead. Come on, give us a head pop. This game is not giving me my head pops. Uh, now, which way are we going? Yeah, gas station. Hopefully we'll find some more ammo in here. Because we are getting a little bit low. Now, I know this game isn't really that stingy when it comes to ammo. There's definitely plenty of the stuff around. Right. Anything in the back of the DeLorean? No. Yep. I remember that. Oh no, that's what we need the wrench for, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Curse my feeble brain. Ugh. Well, that's a thing. God damn it. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a trick there. The game um, making you think you have the item that you need and then uh, luring you into a bit of a false positive there. You actually need two items to open one door. Don't think the game does that, or, or a Resident Evil game does that very often. Unless it's like a boss door or something, and you need a multiple mo discs or something like that. But yeah, kind of interesting little little thing there. What a bastard. At least I think we need the wrench to open that up. Um... We'll put that back for now. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's got to be the wrench that we use. I can't think of anything else that we actually get. <sighs> That's so annoying. I, I literally vividly remember that breaking now. Uh, I can't remember when we played this. Pretty sure that was the last time I actually played this game. So that was a long ass time ago. Usually I do a little bit of research if I'm playing a Resident Evil game again or something, but I've just had no time this week. Because it's holiday season in Cornwall. And it's the busiest holiday season that Cornwall's ever had. So it's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. And everywhere you look. You have holiday makers, and they are essentially zombies. Consuming and destroying everything in sight. Right, there we go. That's it. Not really sure how that isn't sliding back down when she's releasing the tension, but hey, we're not going to go into that, are we? Alright, let's have a little look in here. I'm sure Nemesis turns up in here, but we can blow him up. Uh, right, let's have a little look around. Uh, we need... Ooh. Jill. Oh yes, Carlos. Hey, the zombies are getting restless. Yeah. I know. 
can hear them. What's going on? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's because Mikhail, not Mikhail, um, our friend Nikolai is Jill. luring them to us. What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Ah, uh, he'll be fine. Jill, you worry about way too much bullshit. Okay. I guess we'll take the first aid spray. Because you never know. Oh, right, yes. Oh, God. I actually do we need to oh, I think we need to light them all up, don't we? Do you need to light them all up or Or we need to light all of them up except You little fucker. Uh, yeah, I think we need to light... There we go. Everything up, but... Yeah. Oh, now we... Ugh. Uh, So we need that one on. So we want you activated. There we go. Okay, cool. Machine oil. Yes, good. Yeah, the puzzles in this game are pretty dickish. Ooh. Uh, looks like the place is about to go up. I kind of wanted to have a look in there. Well, that sucks. Carlos! No. Wait, who's done more damage here? Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Yeah, I'm not not buying that, Carlos. Uh, where's where's all the bodies? Where's Carlos? My ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Yeah, now we've like just completely destroyed the uh, petrol station. Okay, right, let's get out of it. I think our job is done. We can be very proud of our actions here today. Yeah, pretty sure we need to get like an oil additive or something. We can't just um, use the oil as it is, the mineral oil or whatever it is. Yeah, you definitely, I'm sure you need to find an oil additive. But anyway, that will do it for now. Let's go back. Yeah, we still got the brain munchers out here, but that's fine. They're not going to bother us in here.
Right. Okay, guys. I'm going to save the game here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm now also going to render this video straight away and upload it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.